Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshes tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we cover the various settings that allow you to manipulate the render attributes of both grid and database entities within the display window of PointWise. You access most of these settings by first selecting at least one database or grid entity using the display window or list panel and selecting the corresponding toolbar shortcut. The Fill Toolbar shortcut allows you to select the manner in which database surface or domains are rendered. The options include wireframe, flat, shaded, or hidden line. With wireframe, selected entities will be displayed with only lines representing entities' edges, cells, isolines, or intervals. Selected entities will be displayed as a continuous solid surface with or without a lighting effect applied when either the flat or shaded options are selected respectively. The hidden line option will display only those objects closest to the user along a ray in the Z screen coordinate. The line shortcut controls whether boundary or interior lines of the selected database surfaces or domains will be displayed. Both boundary and interior lines will be displayed with the All Lines option, while the other two options allow you to display only boundaries or no lines at all. Control points or grid points can be toggled on and off using the points controls with selected database entities and connectors. The Color Selection Toolbar shortcut changes the color mode of selected grid entities to Per Entity and applies the selected color. For database entities, the selected color is simply applied. The Apply Rainbow Colors command takes the color selection shortcut one step further and not only sets the selected entity's color mode to per entity, but then also automatically assigns a unique color to each entity. This command is only available when more than one entity is selected. Any grid or database entities can have their visibility hidden using the Hide command. If either a model or block are selected, the Hide plus Parents command can be used to toggle the visibility of the model and its quilts or the block and its domains. Visibility of hidden entities can be restored using the Show Hidden command in the View menu. All of these render attribute options, including many others, can also be accessed from the Attributes panel. You can access this panel using the available toolbar shortcut or by selecting Attributes from the View menu. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.